Hi guys, today we are at Clay Pigeon Kart Track. It is a track in Dorset. It's where I started doing my sprint and hill climb racing and today we're here to watch uh, for a change to actually spectate on one of the first, first events of the year for the Bournemouth District Car Club that they organise. They always run a real, real good event. It's always very efficient, very professional and it's always very well supported for that reason. Everyone's very keen to get an entry into this event. It's normally full and today, thankfully, the weather is pretty good. It's, uh, it's cold, it's, it's windy and cold, but it's dry. And I've been in already to check up with a few of the guys that I've competed with in the last few years. They've all had good practice runs. Most of them got a good first uh, banker lap in, a good good first timed run, but they're now beginning to push a bit harder as the afternoon progresses. So I'm going to take you into the paddock in a sec, see some of the cars and some of the action on the track. Okay. So approximately 10 to 15 minutes before your session, you'll get yourself strapped into the car, sort your belts and your harnesses out. Uh, you'll also be looking to get the car started, get the engine temperature up, get the coolant and oil warm. Um, it's no longer allowed in hill, hill climbing sprint racing to warm your tyres, but obviously the last thing you want to do is go out with a cold engine. So once you've left your paddock area you'll join a, an assembly queue so it's a line of people queuing up to go out for their practice or timed runs. Um, what you see here people being ushered forward by the marshals you should always look out for their instructions. Here we have a car waiting to go to the start line so just down here you can see a timing beam. This is what the beam breaker on the front of your car will, will break as it goes through. The only thing you're going to be focusing on now is the start lights. I'll show you that on the right hand side in a moment. The marshals will hold you, they'll keep you positioned, so all you're really focusing on doing is getting a good start, minimum wheel spin and as much traction down onto the road as you can. this next car you'll see a small black rectangle. Now this is the beam breaker timing strut. Here you can see the start light. This is what's going to turn green and indicate that it's now your time to get out onto the track and set your timed run. Play Pigeon is a sprint so here you actually do uh, one and three quarter laps of the track so you'll actually do it in reverse but they incorporate a couple of chicanes and then you finish the circuit and end up in the pit lane. So I'm going to show you a full sequence here. So this Caterham 620R driver has been called forward to the start line. Uh, you'll see in a moment the marshal holding and adjusting the car just so that it doesn't inadvertently break the beam prior to his run driver will be just playing with the revs, seeing what he's going to be happy with for when he finally sets off from the start line. He will have had the green light any moment, and then it's his own decision to go when he wants. Well, that's it for this time, guys. I'm just going to leave you with a few clips of the cars circulating as they go about some of their other time runs of the day. Um, everyone had, had a good time. As far as I'm aware, there were no accidents. And it's, it's always a good event. If you want to get involved in sprint and hill climb racing, I highly recommend it. If you've got any questions, get in touch with me or your local motor club, and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay safe.